What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. But if you're new here, welcome to my channel. If you haven't guessed by the title, we are making Mallorca, which is basically a Puerto Rican sweetbread. But first I'm gonna make myself a coquito to calm my nerves and just attempt not to screw this up because I have the ingredients, I have the instructions in front of me, but I feel like <laughs> in previous videos um i've screwed a lot of things up when cooking so i want to make sure that this is perfect mm -hmm. cheers okay so i broke my actual tripod um it didn't break i literally broke it so you're on this handheld kind of tripod and I don't know how I'm gonna work around this for you to actually see, but uh, we're, I'm gonna work with it. I'm going to adapt with alcohol. So first instructions, we need a large bowl, ta-da. I already have a few things measured out and we need in a large bowl, combine water and yeast and then let that sit and dissolve for about three to five minutes. Perfect. What can what could go wrong? I need half a tablespoon of drop half a tablespoon. I need a tablespoon. Tablespoon, tablespoon. I'll put the water in first. Water. Oh, half a tablespoon. Oh, what's, what's half a tablespoon? Wouldn't that just be a teaspoon? Okay, so while I'm waiting for that to just do its own situation I need to add the milk and then with the sugar salt egg yolks vanilla extract and melted butter oh right how much butter four ounces 113.4 grams melted plus more for brushing ah, da, 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 too much too much too much it was only 70 grams all right egg yolk is the yellow bit in oh, okay, I need another, I need another bowl Where I'm gonna put this now. God dang it! Send help. <gasps> yeah, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, so now that that's done, is there any particular order? Oh, oh! Butter! Okay, how much butter do I actually need? Uh, ooh, where's it at? Four ounces. Good job, scales were invented. It's not fluid ounces, is it? Just straight up ounces. Yeah. That doesn't sound like a lot of butter. I think one of them will do for four ounces. I don't know how big four ounces is. That's why I don't cook. Oh, that's nine ounces. That's definitely, definitely says four. That's it. What? Every time I keep like spooning, uh, a lot out it's still saying okay so that's 7.9 ounces there is absolutely no way on this planet four ounce butter which is 113 gram all right okay i'm really confused about this metric system just gonna go to grams okay we need to measure out the flour now while i'm waiting for that which is <laughs> Wait, I need no. I've already got the. I've already got the sugar. It's not all-purpose flour. It's just plain flour, which I feel like is the same thing, right? Got my little Pyrex dish here, and we go three seven five grams. Boom, boom, a boom. Okay, so I've changed locations so y'all can see me a little bit better. But the next thing we have. Oh, it's not gonna work out, is it? Now we need to add the milk, the sugar, the salt, the eggs, and the vanilla, and then the melted butter, and then we lightly whisk. <laughs> okay, so is there any uh, like order to this, or do we just throw it in? Okay, I'm just gonna throw it in. Milk. Sugar and bloop, 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 bloop. Uh, what was next? Vanilla extract, then milk. Oh, my milk is butter. 
That was so close, right? The lighting's gone just absolutely terrible. <laughs> Vanilla, one teaspoon of vin- That's a tablespoon. Oh, one vanilla bean stick. Nope, we just have the extract. Is that enough? And then we just throw, throw the butter in. Oh, do we just let these but No, nope, looks like we just throw the butter in. And, and then we whisk lightly. And then we add three, one, two, three cups of flour and stir. What could possibly go wrong? Hi guys! Okay, I'm gonna do this properly. We're gonna measure it out. Okay. One. Oops. Oops. There we go. And then we... we... And we can stir it with a spoon or our hands, but I wanna get a spoon. My arm hurts so bad. But this is what it's looking like. They said that it would become a door. That's not a door. That's still liquid. Is is it meant to be like that or is it meant to be like literally a door? Help. I think I'm gonna add more of the flour in because it says it's meant to Maybe it's because I'm whisking it. Why don't we have pictures? I need pictures. Okay, I'm gonna add some more of this. It says if it's too sticky, you can add the rest. Oh, oh it says a little at a time. My bad. Oh, it's coming to a door now. See, it's literally becoming a little bit more of a door the more I add more flour in it. So oh, I'm really trying not to screw this up. Is it meant to be, dough is going to be sticky, if too sticky. Okay, so it's meant to be sticky. Oh, that's coming together nicely. Oh my God, I, oh, this is so cool. It's like magic. That's what it looks like right now. I feel like it needs to be a bit more solid, but I'm not too sure. Can I phone a friend? Oh, I don't want to use too much flour. <clears throat> Pardon me. Oh, yes. That seems about right. Okay, so now that it's all mixed, like so, it looks like pizza dough. And it says to cover it with... Oh my god, why is this writing so small? Cover loosely with a clean cloth and then rise and then let rise in warm draft free place for hour and a half to two hours until it's doubled in size. So I'm gonna cover it with this tea towel and um, put it in a draft can I be in the sunshine? Uh, no, I'm just gonna leave it here and I will come back in two hours. <laughs> Okay, so it's been two hours and this is what it's looking like right now. Yeah, so it says here, punch door down. Uh, at this point, door may be refrigerated for a couple of hours or overnight. Refrigerating the door makes it easier to work with. However, you can proceed to the next step without chilling. That feels so good. And I'm gonna leave it overnight. So I will come back to you in about 24 hours when it's cooled overnight and looking a little bit more better. Good morning and happy Friday. So we literally left this chilled overnight in the fridge and it is pretty, it's pretty solid. So next we need to shape it, roll it out to a quarter inch thick rectangles. Um, and then we've got a like, roll it so it goes into almost like that kind of shape and then we spiral it and chuck it in the oven so i'm just going to do a quick little montage i'm going to throw them in the oven and see how they come out Okay, so here's the best one I made. <clears throat> and I'm going to try it. It's still very squishy, but also on the outside, it's like, it's not rock solid, but it's nice and crusty. 
I just inhaled the whole powder. Oh, it's actually really good without inhaling the powder. Oh, it's so good. Oh my god. Whoa. That's it for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Tap on the bell so you get notified every time I make a video. With that being said, stay home, stay safe, and I will see you in the next video. Mwah.